Hello everybody, I'm Harley from Garden FL and in today's video we're going to learn about the beautiful Relinia tree, botanical name Anona Deliciosa. So currently I'm in Cali, Colombia here at my farm and my Relinia tree is actually loaded at this time of the year. We are in the month of January of the year 2022. So let's take a closer look at the beautiful Relinia tree. So here's the Anona Deliciosa, also known as Relinia tree. It stands about 10 feet tall and here are the foliage. As we get closer, you will see that but every branch on the Rilinia is loaded with fruits. As you see, this is the baby Rilinia fruit. It's very similar to how sugar apples will look or atemodias will look when they're in their premature adolescent stage. And also on the same branch, we have uh, multiple flowers. As you see, we have multiple stages from, as you see, we have tiny baby flowers just emerging. And as they get older and as they start to flower and bloom, as you see, as they bloom, they kind of get moldy, and that means that they've already bloomed, and that's just the, the blossom actually trying to fall off. And once it falls off, it will have a beautiful little fruit, the Relinia fruit. As you see on the same tree, we have larger fruits. This is probably the largest fruit that will be ready to harvest in about two weeks, I would give it. As you see, these branches are just absolutely loaded with relinias. Now, relinias are most known for their spikes. As you see, that these uh, anonas are a little more spikier than other anonas, such as sugar apples or uh, some cherimoyas. But as you see, at this at this stage, they can get really confused with you know any other anona. But um, they kind of all have this one uh, lump or a circle ring on top of their, on top of the fruit. As you see, it's a very distinctive ring that moat that kind of sticks out like this, that protrudes out. And all Relinias will have this, so that's one way you can easily distinct that it's a Relinia, just by that one bump right here. Now here in Colombia, actually, Relinia is pollinated by the natural pollinators. So that's why you see such a heavy fruit set on almost every branch. And recently, the Relinia actually got changed its botanical name to Anona Deliciosa, I believe. Before it was uh, Relinia Deliciosa. So now I believe it's classified as uh, Anona Deliciosa. But you may still call it Relinia because that's what uh, it's known as. For the most part, Relinia Birbida. But botanically, if you say Anona Deliciosa, you can just assume that. We're talking about Relinia. This is the foliage of the Relinia. As you see, it's very uh, similar to all other Nonas. Although it looks most similar to maybe like a custard apple or a reticulata. It has a really beautiful green foliage. As you see, we also have another big fruit right here, which is probably one of the second biggest ones that'll be ready for harvest. And as you see going more up the tree, we just have an incredible amount of fruit set all over the tree. We'll take a closer look. So as you see, you see hundreds of little baby Relinias fruit set. And not all of these will stay. Most of these will fall off, but it looks like this tree is very loaded. So I believe many will stay in and only some will fall off. So as the fruits will fall off because there's just so many set, they will kind of start to do something like this is where the, the fruits will basically turn brown and abort them. And this can happen when there's too many fruits. It's just a natural way of thinning. So but as you see, as the flower will fall off, 
oftentimes it will either leave a fruit or it will not. It looks like this one perhaps did not. Here's an example of a Verlinia, a little baby fruit that has its flowers still attached to it. But as you see, as they grow bigger, they naturally just shed them. Verlinia here is native to Colombia. And it's also native to Brazil, I believe. And Colombia and Brazil are right next to each other. So oftentimes many fruit that is native here will be native there. And one of those fruits is the Berlinia, Anona Deliciosa. So here we are under the tree. And like I said, this fruit right here is probably the biggest one. As you see, compared to my head, it's a pretty good sized fruit. These fruit here can get much bigger, much larger as they do in Florida. But as you see, just all around me, there's multiple fruit sets. And it's really cool to see the tree loaded because my previous years here, I was never able to uh, catch this fruit tree loaded. It was, it was always like only producing a little amount of fruits, but it looks like uh, this year we actually have a really productive year of not only fruits, but just flowers and flowers that set fruits. So I'm really looking forward to uh, these to harvest. Most of these fruits will be ready to harvest in about four to five months. It does take about, I would say six months from flower to harvest on uh, the religion in this climate. But nonetheless, it's a beautiful tree. The fruit is like a lemon, mer lemon meringue pie is the closest way to describe it. Now, one of the reasons why this really near probably set fruit so much is because also at the farm, there's a lot of other known as you see just to the right of us. We have Atemoyas, Anona Atemoya. And then we also have uh, another new Anona that I planted, Anona Desi Pricks, Desi Pricks. Then we also have another uh, Atemoya, which is actually right uh, right next to my Verlinia. And then right over here, we have another Atemoya, which is actually flowering, believe it or not. <laughs> and then we have the Guanabana Anuna Maricata which is also loaded with flowers, if I can find some, as you see. So that's probably why I have the Rutlinia tree so loaded is because in the area there's already so many known as to pollinate so naturally they just they just all attacked the blooms when they're in bloom to pollinate them you see we're still flowering thank you guys so much for watching this video on the Anona Deliciosa also known as Rutlinia if you like this video or if you like the Rutlinia fruit be sure to give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for more Ananasia fruit videos. I'm Harley from Garden NFL and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye now.